Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. The dust has now settled from the relapse I had. I'll link that video to this one if you haven't seen it yet. And I want to share with you in this video a couple of really important new lessons that I've learned that I hope will help you. Some people talk about real, and I've talked about it before because I've always been open and honest about my recovery. You know, I'm frail, I'm human, um, I make mistakes, um, like all of us make mistakes. But the important thing is really just to keep our heads up when we make those mistakes, to learn from them and to move forward. And often the more mistakes we make, the more we learn and new things we learn. And that's been the case with this, you know, because I've had other relapses in the past where I've become complacent. Um, but this one was a bit of a shocker to me because I, I, you know, I sort of felt really good before it. So I want to share with you how my mind worked during it and also the couple of lessons I learned, uh, I've learned from it. Dr. Wayne Dyer, one of my heroes, used to say, if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And I never really understood what that meant. I just thought it was one of these I don't know, platitudes, if you want to call it that, just one of these clever, clever sayings. I didn't really understand it. But I was at um, an NA meeting because that's one of the things that I'm, I'm doing that's new in my recovery. You know, I have, I've never been to an NA before and it's really helping me. Um, someone said at that meeting about life, talking about life, because, you know, a lot of us that, that do relapse and a lot of us addicts have a lot going on in the head. You know, there's pain often, you know, a head full of junk sometimes, resentments, all sorts of stuff. Uh, and perceiving that life is throwing everything against us. And this person said at this meeting, um, the way that now she looks at things is that everything we receive from life is either a gift or a lesson. So not good and bad, a gift or a lesson. And I thought, well, that's that Wayne Dyer saying, isn't it? If you change the way you look at things, because I suppose if you can, if you can change your mentality to that way, then, um, then that's a really useful thing to do. So that's what I've decided to do, or I've decided to try to do. Um, just before I go into the video, thank you all so much for your support. If my videos are helping you or have helped you and you'd like to show a bit of support and give the channel a bit of help, I really would be grateful because it desperately needs it. Um, just click on the Kofi link in the description. Um, have a read how you can do that. And if you feel like doing that, you know, I'd be very, very, very appreciative. Thank you. So let's talk quickly about relapse. Um, you know, there's a lot of schools of thought in recovery that, you know, and I was perhaps amongst these people because you know I'd heard it so often that relapse is, is a part of recoveries and you know it's a necessary part of recovery. I don't necessarily agree with that anymore. I'll tell you why. Um, the first reason is I've seen too many people die from relapse now that I know um, because let's let's not beat around the bush here. If you've been um, addicted to alcohol or drugs or any, you know in any form and it's been a serious addiction and you've been off them for a long period of time or any length of time and you relapse, that's a massive shock for your body. And I've known many people die that you know I know well and it's a tragedy. Um, and I also know many people in long-term recovery that um, have never relapsed. So, so you know, I don't, I don't believe it's a necessary part. However, like I said at the beginning of this video, we're all frail human beings, especially me, you know, and I get caught up like you do in life sometimes, you know, particularly with resentments. You know, I get a lot of cr cruel comments um, aimed at me on this channel. Now, this is, you know, I'm not moaning about that because this is my choice to put myself out here. You know, someone said I did it for my ego. It's nothing to do with my ego at all. You know, why would I be putting um, my frailties and mistakes up there for all to see if it was about my ego, you know? Um, but if I take these, these cruel comments on board, or some of them are really cruel, then, you know, it's really affecting my mental health. Um, and this is my decision to be on here. So it's my, you know, it's, and I speak my truth and that's it. But now I've come to the conclusion that what people um, say or think about me is none of my business. 
you know, and that's something that you talk in the rooms, you know, and, and it's it, it's true, you know, that's, that's their opinion, and that's that, you know they're entitled to their opinions. Um, if I don't agree with those opinions, it's none of my business. So I I just have to let that go now. Um, you know, I can get on the lead up to this last relapse. You know, I was in a wonderful position with my family at home, loving life, but things were creeping up on my head. You know, I was out of my comfort zone. Um, you know, it was it was very a very busy life they lead with small children and, and everything was going on around me. I was overwhelmed by it all, sensory overwhelmment, if you like, as well. Um, a few things were going wrong, and um, a couple of people upset me, and little things built up in my head. And before I, I knew anything about it, I had a head full of rubbish, and all I wanted to do, you know, I became complacent. Really, I just let my mind run away with me. All I wanted to do was shut my mind up, you know, stop it yapping in my ear, um, quieting it down, escape from the pain of it, whatever you want to call it. And that's why I did what I did, because it was available to me over there, as I discussed in the video, I'll link to this one. So one thing I've learned from that, it's really important to, if you're going to recover from this, to quieten your mind. Now, I've always, with meditation, I've always been a bit, you know, I find it really difficult to meditate, you know, because it's knowing what's right and what's wrong. And, but there's no right or wrong way to do it. My daughter it does yoga and she um, has access to lots and lots of meditations of all different types for different times of the day, etc, etc. And I've now put it into my daily routine, first thing in the morning to do one and last thing at night to do one. And during the day of breathing exercises to calm me down if my mind starts to run away with me. What that's done for me is to make me much more aware of the way I'm thinking, not taking on board resentments, not thinking about that life's against me or perceiving that life's against me. Um, you know, we all have bad things going on in our lives. It's, it's just dealing with them as you deal with them. One thing, the things you can control, dealing with them, the things you can't control, you have to put to one side. You just have to deal with what's in front of you. We all have shitty times and we all have stuff happening around us, some worse than others, obviously. Um, but to deal with these things, we need to keep a focused and quiet mind. So meditation has been supremely important to me. Narcotics Anonymous, um, a lot of my problems revolve around pills, pill taking, painkiller taking, all of that sort of stuff. So I needed to deal with that. I couldn't deal with it where I was going to meetings because I wasn't allowed to talk about. And that's no, that's that's just that particular um, thing it was about alcohol, and I respect that. Um, but I needed to have identity with people who were going through the same thing as me, and able to talk openly about it um, whenever I feel like doing it. And that's what I'm doing, and that's been a massive help to me. And these are the, the, those two things, the meditation and the NA, I've never done before in my recovery. You know, look back at previous videos, you know, um, I tried to react to each time I've slipped up, you know, I've reacted in different ways. But I think this time I've just taken it more calmly and um, I've learned from it much more. I've become much more focused on it. And, I, you know, I realised where my mind let me down or I let myself down um, with my thinking. Um, and you know, I'm dealing with that. So it's really important. And on top of that, obviously, uh, my diet and my exercise routine are, 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 are number three. You know, they're probably top of the list, to be honest with you. Um, I've changed my diet radically, thanks to my daughter. A lot of probiotics um, and prebiotics. That's helped my, my mood and my mental health and my energy. Um, you know, cut out the sugar and the processed crap wherever I can. I give myself the odd treat because I think that's important. Um, you know, don't feel like you slipped up if you've done that. You know, a bar of chocolate now and again, it never did anyone any harm. It's when, you know, it's when it gets out of hand. But as long as you're aware of that, and exercise every single day if you can, because, you know, even if it's a walk in the fresh air for 20 minutes, because it'll change the way you're thinking. Don't forget, if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Much love. I'm feeling strong, feeling good. Thank you all for your support. Please click on the Kofi link and give the channel some support if you can. Carpe diem, my friends. See you very soon. Bye-bye.